Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Linux App Store on your Chromebook. So if you've used Linux on your Chromebook before, you, you might have realized that it's not, it's, it's good, it's still in beta mode, but if you don't know how to use the command lines, then it is a bit of an issue. So what I'm going to show you now is how to install a Linux App Store. And what that will do, it will mean once you've installed the actual App Store, you won't need to know how to use the command line to install different programs. It would be very much similar to the Play Store for Android apps, but you'll have it for Linux apps. So this video is on the assumption that you've not installed Linux at all on your Chromebook or Chromebox. So I'll show you how to do that. And then I will show you how to install an app store for Linux on your Chromebook. So let's get straight to it. So let's move that down here. Let's move that there, down here. And then on to settings, it's on the other monitor, drag it along here, and then Linux beta turn on, and it will set it up. It's going to use ccomputing.com as a username. You can put any username in there, that's absolutely fine. And it's recommended 7.5 gigabytes. You can choose what you want. Um, I It will go obviously to, to the maximum you've got. I'm going to put it up to 10 gigabytes like that and then install it with 10 gigabytes and then do install so this might take a few seconds so i'll pause the video just whilst this is doing that okay so that took about a minute to two minutes to install so that's how long it should take you when you do it on your chromebook or chromebox it may take long depending on what Chromebook or Chromebox you're using. Now here from the command line, what you need to type is sudo, S-U-D-O space, A-P-T space, update. I think that's correct. Sudo apt update, yes, that's correct. And then press return. This should do this part pretty quickly. Let's wait for that to go through. Yep, that's all done. And now the next part is sudo apt and then space. So it's sudo space apt space and then dist, which I believe is distribution, then hyphen upgrade and then do a return. This I think takes a while, so I'll pause it whilst it's doing it. I first we know it hasn't, it's fine, then press yes, return. Okay, so that's done that. That took a couple of minutes to install that part. So what we've done, we've installed, at the moment we've installed Linux, and bear in mind, this is all in stable mode. You don't need to go into developer mode to do this anymore. And it's the same with installing the Linux App Store that we're gonna install. Again, it's in stable mode. So there are more than one app store out there. There's one called GNOME, and that's how you um, spell that. But the one I'm going to use, because I think it's better, is um, Plasma Discover. So to install that, you type in sudo sudo space, and at, as you can see, I'm not an expert on Linux. I, I, command lines, takes you back to MS-DOS days, it really does. sudo apt install um, plasma and hyphen and then discover. Now this will then um, install the actual Linux app store. So do that, then yes. Now this takes some time, so I'll pause the video. Okay, so that took about five minutes, maybe a bit longer to install that there. So I'll pause the video. So that's all done. So we've now installed the App Store as well. So if you just type in exit there, you can close down that. So you've got Linux installed now. And it will go to your launcher down the bottom, up here, and click on here, and you'll have Linux installed. As you can see there, Linux apps. Click on there, that's the command line. That's Sorry, a lot of times it goes to whatever display. That's the command line. 
which you've used, which you won't need to use, hopefully going forward. Obviously for some apps you might have to, if you want to install Steam, for example, that isn't on this app store, but this app store does have a lot of apps. So let's click on there. Now you may have a problem where when you first open this app store, you won't see any of the apps. But if we wait here, checking for updates, let's just wait for a second. Some people say you need to restart your Chromebook. It may be the case that you have to restart your Chromebook, but we will wait and see if this does it without having to restart the Chromebook first. It takes a while. I'll just pause the video. Okay, so I've had the video paused now for about two to three minutes. And as you can see, it's still saying fetching up here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to restart the Chrome box and then we'll see if that fixes it. This is unfortunately something that may happen. So this is something you might come across. There's no way around it, unfortunately. So I'll restart the Chrome box, Chrome box and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've restarted the Chrome box. So let's see if that's worked. So if you go back down to the launcher, open that up there. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> so is that there? Minimize that a bit. Uh, launcher, find your Linux apps, click on discover. If this doesn't work, we will have to do the um, app update again, the sudo app update, but we'll see if this works first. So bear in mind, this is something you may have, and some people may have it more than others. So if it happens once it, and it's still not working, you might have to do it again. So it is a bit frustrating, but once it's done, it will work. So applications, there we go. Didn't have to do anything, just talking, it's done it. So do that. If, if, if it doesn't work, just go to update, see if it fetches. It, said it was but it wasn't really doing anything um, rebooting your chrome box and it fixed that so that's all done if it doesn't work what you will have to do so if you come if you turned off your chromebook or chrome box and you come here and there's still no app showing the best thing to do is to close that this is only if it doesn't work by the way this isn't what you have to do in the scenario i mean now you would click on that and you'd open up that terminal again and you would need to put in there let me see um, yeah so if it didn't work then and the reboot didn't work just do sudo at update let that run i'm not going to do it obviously because it works but let that run then type in exit once that's all done you might have to reboot your computer again but essentially you're gonna to have to do that and go through that until you get to a stage where you've got the app store up and running and once it's up and running you won't have to deal with that problem again and the good thing is this is all in stable mode so you're not having to mess about going into developer mode so you're safe and secure everything you install is going to be in a sandbox so you're absolutely fine this is more like installing programs like you do on a Windows computer, for example. So these programs won't necessarily install as quickly as an Android app because that they're a lot more, there's more to it than an Android app essentially. So the reason why in here, one thing you do need to bear in mind, not all of these apps will work. They, so it is trial and error. But the reason why I like this Linux app store is because here you've got applications and then it's got a list of different types so for example you've got here games you go on there and then you've got games there but then you can even narrow it down even further by doing card games for example to show you all the different card games you can install it as i says troll and error might work on your chromebook it might not work on someone else's chromebook so it, it is down to if it works on your device great if it doesn't then you know there's not much we can really do on that unfortunately but the actual linux app store as long as you've got linux on your chromebook or chromebox you shouldn't have a problem installing this just bear in mind not every single program will work but i'll give you a quick example of what is good graphics and 
this one here, GNU Image Manipulation Program, and I'll show you how long it takes. It does take a little longer to install it, because this is a proper program. Um, so we'll install that, and as you can see, it's installing, downloading. So whilst that's installing, this is a proper graphics software program. So a lot of people have always said, oh, you can't do true graphics on a Chromebook. And that's not too strictly true because there are workarounds and there's also Android apps. But Android apps are good, but they're never going to beat a proper, proper graphics program. I used to always use Macromedia Fireworks and then it was taken over by Adobe. So it was Adobe Fireworks. Other people use Photoshop. I love Fireworks. Um, but, and it's very hard to change to a new um, graphics program when you've used to the one you've used, but you, you, that's really what you've got to do, and that's what I will be doing. So I'm installing this just to show you. It does take longer, as you can see, because it's installing a, 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 an actual program. Um, but when it's installed, I'm not going to show you how to use it because I've not used it myself. But I will show you very quickly that this is like a, a real graphics program, so you should be able to do. Most of the things you can do on professional software with this, because this is professional software for Linux. As you can see here, it's nearly there. Just one percent left. There we go. So that's installed. Now you can, you don't need, once you've installed your apps that you want to do, you can close that down then, and all of your apps will be in here. So as you can see, that's your app store, and that's the program we've just installed. So I'll just quickly show you. There we go, and it's just running. And this is a true, I don't mind saying true, but what I mean is, although some of the Android apps are great, they're not gonna beat a proper graphics program. So this is a true graphics program. Um, they're not easy to learn. The, these sort of things you have to use over time, and then you'll just get better at them. As it, I would say, it's trial and error. Um, just, just have a play about with them. I might do another video in the future to show you how to use this. I'm not sure if people are that interested. I don't know. Um, but yes, so it's just to show you. Once you've got that installed on your Chromebook, you can then it's not wanting to close. Close. <laughs> right, I'll get it to close. Fall or quit. There we go. Right, so once you've got that installed, it's going to be there and you can then use it to find lots of different apps, Linux apps to work on your Chromebook. Like I said, the won't all work, it's trial and error. Also, obviously, it is reversible. So if you use it and you decide it's not for you, then it's just a case of going down here going to here and then go into Linux Beta, click on that, and you've got remove Linux from Chromebox there. Now I'm sure when you remove Linux from Chromebox, it will just remove that complete size of that, that file. So my, the one I set up was 10 gigabyte. So I don't think I would need to uninstall any programs first, and what I mean by that is that graphics program and the app store. I think I could just remove that. But I, 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 yes, that would definitely work. Whether that's an issue or not, I'll have to look at for a future video. Um, yeah, so I hope that helped. If it did, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.